In this video, we're going to take a look at this GitHub report called Scikit LLM. This is Scikit Learn meets large language models by this lady, Irina. And it says over here that Scikit LLM is a collection of Scikit Learn compatible wrappers around large language models, allowing to treat them as regular Scikit Learn estimators. So there are a few examples here. Let's run them. I'm going to be running it in debug mode so we can see what's going on. We're going to run through the whole script. We do have to define our API key in our organization. You do have to do this step. I'm grabbing them from my environment variables, but you can set them right here too. Then you assign it with the config.set. Now we're going to import zero shot GPT classifier. If you actually control click on it, you'll you can take a look at the class and see what it is doing. It's pretty cool. Then we are importing a data set called get classification data set. If you go here, you'll see an X data set and then its classifications. The first 10 is positive. The next 10 is negative. And the next 10 is neutral. This is the Y, like the predictions. This R in front of strings means the two in Python that you want to treat them as raw string so that if it has slashes in it, sometimes you use slashes to escape characters. So slashes in raw strings will be treated as regular characters. Anyway, so we are importing that data set and we are assigning our X's, as you can see, and Y's, our predictions. Just like this. Let's take a look again. The first time was positive. Anyway. And then we are assigning our classifier to zero shot GPT classifier using GPT 3.5 turbo. Then we fit them and now we predict. And as you see down here, the prediction process has begun. And if we go to the prompt, so I'm going to click control click on zero shot GPT classifier and here build zero shot prompt. And right here, there's the zero shot prompt template. If you click, then you'll go to the file, which has all the prompt templates. You can take a look here. It is giving instruction. You'll be provided with the following information. It explains that it says perform the following tasks and a list of categories, text sample and your JSON response. So it is a few other prompts. We're going to take a look at them too. Okay. The prediction is complete. Now we can print the labels. As you see, the first 10 are positive, next 10 are negative. So this is pretty cool. I just want to mention a Ecolive AI Academy. You can visit it at ecolive.live, from which you can search all my YouTube videos, 130 plus free AI coding videos. You can search and find exactly what you need. If you're searching for GPT-4 or GPT-3.5, it's an instant search and you can actually find the right content, read the descriptions along with the code download links to Patreon. Feel free to use it. It's echohive.live. Next is the same thing, but this time we are not actually extracting the Y, but we are giving it. We are just defining any arbitrary category as you like. This does exactly the same thing and uses the same prompt. And again, it's going to predict and it will display the same results because it's picking, okay, pick either positive, negative, or neutral. Next up is the multi-label zero shot GPT classifier. We go in here and take a look at this prompt. Here we go. This time instead of saying just a single category, it says identify which categories the provided text belongs to. And it gives it a list of categories and a text sample. If you look at its data set by control clicking here, multi-label classification data set has some sentences. And see, it, has, it is able to pick multiple categories for that by just reading it. We were to go over it and run it. We are going to get our predictions are ready now. We can print them. Oh, I forgot to print the mixer, but they were going to be similar to what we see over here. And the next up is the same thing, but without providing the Y, we can actually arbitrarily define the categories inside the script itself. Next is the few shot GPT classifier. This does the same thing as a regular classifier, but if you go to its prompt, training sample prompt template, here the few shot 
classification prompt template actually gives it some training data. So we provide it with instructions, the model with instructions, list of categories, some training data, and then we expect a result given a text sample. So this is just fifth shotting it. Now, before I forget, the requirements for this is, of course, socket LLM. You have to pip install that and open AI. Pip install open AI. You can actually use a GPT vectorizer. Let's import it. We get a classification data set, and we're going to actually transform the classification data set into a vector space. If you control click on the GPT vectorizer, you see the get embedding method. If you click on it, we are just using regular text embedding ADA002 using the openai.embedding.create like you nor normally would do. If we go ahead and let it do its vectorizing, it's pretty quick. Then we can actually print the shape of it, and it is 1536 dimensions, which is the text ADA002 embeddings shape. Our next up is the summary, GPT summarizer. Also, you can find all these code examples at the GitHub repository. I'll put the link in the description. So we are going to import GPT summarizer. We can take a look at its prompt real quick. It's very simple. Your task is generate a summary of the text sample. Summarize the text sample provided below, delimited by triple backticks. In at most, this many words, text sample, and summarize text like you normally would do. So when we run this with GPT 3.5 Turbo, it max words 15. We should get a summary quickly. Now let's take a look at the summarizer data set. So there's some paragraphs here. And now we can print the summaries. Here we go. Quite concise summaries. That's nice. Next is the translator. If we look at the translator prompt, it's very simple. Translation will be provided with an arbitrary text sample. Your task is to translate this text to whatever language. Perform the following actions. Determine the language of the text sample. If the language is not one of the languages, translate the text sample. Oh, if it's not the output language, then translate it put language. Output the translated text. If the text sample can provide it is not a recognizable language, output no translation available. Do not output any additional information in the text sample. Let's run this. This is the translation data set. Okay. Things German. Okay. Let's run this. And now we can print the translations. And all of the sentences have been translated into English. So this is pretty cool. Take a look. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description to Psychic LLM. Also check out my website, Ecohive AI Academy at echohive.live. You can search all my videos here, find their description, also find the code download links at Patreon. You can find my Patreon link in the description as well. Here I post currently over 70 plus projects, code files, which you can download. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. This was fun and see you in the next one. Take care.